Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today we are going to uh, go through how to use the pattern sequencer inside uh, the Sys from Sugarbyte. Before I, I start, please remember to subscribe as that helps with growing the channel. So we are inside AUM, let's create a MIDI channel and also an audio channel and let's create as uh, an audio uni extension or select from as an audio uni extension flow tones for that audio channel. Let's select um, a patch here, let's go perhaps to, why not, let's have a little bit of fun, let's go to uh, talking AI from the vocal um, section. Uh, that's interesting. Okay, and let's load uh, um, the Sys as a MIDI processor and let's link the two. Nice. So let's uh, open the Sys and let's maximize it. So the area which we are going to focus on is down here on the bottom right. So if I double click to zoom in, you can see pattern sequencer. Now, before I um, explain how to use the pattern sequencer, um, please note that at the bottom here of the, of the screen, you have 16 patterns that you can select. You can click on one pattern to select, and you can see that you have a green color, which means you are in edit mode. You can click again on it to exit that edit mode, and it will go back to what was previously selected, in this case, pattern number one. And you can also click on pattern number one to enter edit mode. Remember that, because when you are in edit mode, uh, the pattern sequencer will not move to the next pattern, okay? So, before I actually... Uh, show you the how to use the pattern sequencer. Well, let's create some patterns, otherwise you don't hear anything. So let's uh, select pattern number one as it is already selected and let's do something like so. And um, let's uh, uh, set the velocity and let's click play. Okay, um, let's decrease a little bit of the volume. I don't know why it's coming out from the output, but uh, let's do like that. Okay, perfect. So it's quite distinctive. So let's go to pattern number two and do something like so. So hopefully it's very different and we set the velocity there and let's click play. So that hopefully is uh, uh, quite different from pattern number one. Let's try to switch between one to the other manually. <laughs> That's enough for now, but uh, of course you have seen in other videos that you can randomize as well all the parameters, or you can randomize, um, for example, what um, uh, in in each sequencer. Actually, let's uh, select also them. Why not the minor pentatonic scale, both for pattern number two and also for pattern number one, like so. Uh, let's try again. <laughs> Okay, and uh, let's uh, go inside flow tones as well, and let's go to the part one, and let's lower the pitch as well. Let's try again. Okay, right, so we have two patterns, so let's double click here to zoom in. So first of all, you need to activate the pattern sequencer. You have a button here on the right, like so, so it is active. You can see here you have two, four, eight um, selection of patterns, okay? You can select uh, the loop here. So in this case, I wanted to, to go from um, pattern one to pattern number four here. Uh, so we'll play four patterns consecutively. You can see here the pattern which is currently selected. Here you selected the pattern, so uh, on the first step, effectively, you have pattern one, 
on the second one, let's put pattern two, then pattern one again, and then pattern two again. So we do um, alternating pattern between pattern one and pattern two, but of course you can use any patterns as you like. Underneath each pattern, you can decide how many times you want that pattern to be repeated. In this case, let's say only once, but you could say, play the last one twice, for example. And then you need to decide how quickly it moves from playing one pattern to the other, the switching. And that is determined by this selection here. So you click on here and you can say, for example, after 16 steps, move to the next pattern. Okay, so when you have done all of that, let's zoom out and let's go back to the beginning. And remember, that's important because if you are in the middle or you have one step selected in the middle of your pattern, then it will start from there and it will count 16 um, steps before changing. So let's try. <laughs> So as you can see, it's very easy to use the pattern sequencer and you can see hopefully that it was changing the pattern down here and in the list of patterns, but also it was changing the patterns here with these highlighted um, uh, lighter green here on the, um, on the loop length. So it's moving from one pattern to the other. Of course, if you don't want to use um, uh, the pattern sequencer, you can do something manually as well. So let's double click down here. Okay, and um, this is an interesting view of the keyboard. You can use these as well um, through an external keyboard. Um, it is split in different sections. The first part here is the selection of your pattern from one to 16. So you can click on them and you, in, in each of the key, you can see the pattern here has been uh, selected or changed. Then what you can do, you can click and hold for an action to be selected. The action corresponded to what I showed in the first video here, the um, action which is set. Okay, and then you can also change the pitch. So you can go lower a semitone or upper a semitone and you click, and you need to click and hold for that to, to take effect. Of course, if you want to expand the pitch view, you have an arrow here, you click on it, and then you have uh, different pitches that you can select, or you can go back to that view, again, clicking on that triangle. So let's try. So let's select pattern one and let's click play. So hopefully, as uh, you have seen, I was changing patterns here using the, the keys on the left. I triggered also a repetition action here. Um, and also I changed the uh, pitch for the pattern which was playing. Okay, I hope you found this uh, uh, useful and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.